students find the concept of the mole to be quite confusing. However, by applying one simple technique, you will be able to perform any calculation related to the mole. Hi, Mr. B here. In this video, I will explain how to use a very simple technique called the mole map to perform a number of calculations involving moles. Let's begin by writing a mole map. A mole map consists of four boxes where the center box will represent moles. One box must represent the number of particles Another box will represent the mass. And of course, our final box must represent volume. In other words, the volume of a gas. These boxes are connected by arrows, where each arrow going to the center box will represent an operation called division. Each arrow going away from the center box will represent multiplication. All right, very simple so far. Now we must write conversion factors between the boxes. The conversion factor between the mass and mole will be the Graham formula mass, or GFN, also known as molar mass. The conversion factor written between the mole and the particles box will be Avogadro's number, which we know will be 6.022 times 10 to the 23. In this case, 6.022 times 10 to the 23 may represent atoms or molecules, but we simply say particles. So the units for Avogadro's number in this case will simply be particles per mole. Between the box, between the mole box and the volume box, we place 22 point four liters. Now 22.4 liters represents the volume of an ideal gas at STP where STP conditions are 273K or 0 degrees Celsius and 101.3 kPa or simply one atmosphere. Suppose we're asked to find the mass of two moles of sodium chloride. The formula for sodium chloride is NaCl. According to the mole map, if we're given moles, which in this case is two moles, and we wish to find mass, the operation is a multiplication. Now the question is, what do we multiply by? And the answer is we multiply by the gram formula mass of sodium chloride, which may be determined from the periodic table, where sodium has a rounded average mass of 23, and chlorine has a rounded average mass of 35. So the mass of sodium chloride will be 58 grams per mole. I'm sure your teacher has already discussed the concept of unit cancellation. 
So therefore, in this particular case, if we now write moles over one, remember every number is a fraction. It's just that whole numbers are actually numbers that are written over one. So in this particular case, the moles will cancel and the answer is two times 58 grams. And two times 58 grams will be, let's see, two times 58, six, carry to one, 10, so the answer will be 116 grams of Na. See ya. Now suppose we're asked how many moles are represented by 40 grams of hydrogen chloride. The formula for hydrogen chloride is HCl. According to the mole map, if we're given mass and we wish to find moles, the operation is to divide. So we divide the given mass, which is 40 grams, by the gram formula mass of, of hydrogen chloride, which is simply 36. So 40 divided by 36 grams per mole. Obviously, in this case, the grams will cancel, and we're left with 40 over 36 mole. According to my calculator, 40 divided by 36 will equal an odd number. 1.11 mole. Okay, so much for the simple stuff. Now, what if we're asked how many molecules of water are contained in 40 grams of water? Let's see. The formula for water is H2O. According to the mole map, in order to get to molecules, which in this case will be number of particles, if we're given mass, start in the mass box, go to the mole box, then go to the particles box. So the operation will be a divide and then a multiply. 40 grams divided by the gram formula mass of water, which is 18 grams per mole. Placing us in the middle box now. Now we want to go from the mole box to the particles box. The operation is a multiply. Multiplying what times what? Multiplying by Avogadro's number. 6.022 times 10 to the 23 molecules oops molecules per mole let's see what cancels out well obviously uh, when when fractions are divided you invert and multiply which means that after this calculation the mole will be in the numerator so here moles will cancel Grams cancel on the spot. So our final answer will be in molecules, which is exactly what we want. Let's perform the calculation now. 40 divide 18 equals 2.22 mole. All right, so now at this point, I'm in the middle box. The answer is 2.22 mole. Now I need to go from the middle box to the particles box. Operation is multiply times what? Avogadro's number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23, and the answer is 1.34 times 10 to the 24. So the answer is 1.34 times 10 to the 24 molecules 
of water. What if you're asked to solve an extension problem such as this one? How many oxygen atoms are found in 4.18 grams of aluminum sulfate? To answer this particular problem, the first step is to write the formula, since the formula was not given, but only the name. The formula for aluminum sulfate is Al2 parentheses SO4-3. Now that we have the proper formula, we may find the number of moles, where, according to the mole map, moles, <coughs> moles are equal to the mass divided by the gram formula mass. So the next step in this process to find the actual mass of aluminum sulfate. Let's see how to do it. Well, you could look at this formula and try to determine the mass, but I have an, a simpler way to find formula mass. Al2S3O12. In this particular case, I have distributed the 3 into the parentheses. In other words, this 3 implies there are 3 sulfates. So by multiplying each number of atoms given in the polyatomic ion, we get the total number of atoms. So in this case, we have two aluminums, two aluminums, which is equal to 2 times 27. We have three sulfurs. Oops. We have three sulfurs, 3 times 32. And we have 12 oxygen which is 12 times 16. 2 times 27 is equal to 54. 3 times 32 is equal to 96. And 12 times 16 is equal to 192. So the gram formula mass for this compound will be 342 grams per mole. Now that we know the molar mass of the compound, which is 342 grams per mole, we may proceed to answer the question. 4.18 grams divided by 3.42 grams per mole. So this mass is equal to 1.22 times 10 to the negative 2 moles. On the mole map, this now places us in the middle box. Now we wish to find the number of molecules because ultimately we wish to calculate the number of atoms. Before determining the number of atoms, we must know the number of molecules. So 1.22 times 10 to the minus 2 mole times Avogadro's number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23 molecules per mole will equal 7.36 times 10 to the 21 molecules. Great. Now we know how many molecules of the compound we have. To, to calculate the number of oxygens that, are, that we have, simply go back to the formula. The formula was Al2 parentheses SO4 close parentheses 3. However, remember we distributed the 3 to the atoms in the parentheses. This yields Al2 S3O12. So, in each molecule of this compound, there are 12 atoms. To find the total number of atoms, we'll now simply multiply 7.36 times 10 to the 21 molecules times the 12 atoms per molecule. And the answer will be that the number of atoms are 1.06 times 10 to the 24 atoms. Let's check our math. If everything in the calculation cancels except for atoms, then we know we have the correct answer. G's cancel, moles cancel, and molecules cancel, which means that we're left with atoms. So 1.06 times 10 to the 24 atoms is indeed the correct answer.